Yo, my guys, what is good? Welcome back. We are back. Gonna be jumping into the stew in a minute. Just thought I'd do my intro outside because the weather's good here in the UK right now. We like to make the most of it because it doesn't happen very often. So, that being said, in today's vid, I feel like kind of making um, a soulful melodic storytelling kind of real rap beat. If any of you guys have heard the new Young Ads Daily W Freestyle, you guys from the UK will have definitely heard it, but any of my US fans, go check that out. Uh, I'm gonna be going for something in that style so that's what we're going to be getting into in the video today obviously go ahead subscribe check me out on all my other socials as wild steps date with all the producer related content that i drop but yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna finish my morning tea and uh jump to the stew so i'll see you there guys so i've got a stock plug in here we've just gone into the packs in fl i'm using stage grand and i've come up with this really sort of simple chord progression i'm going to build on it uh, but this is just like a kind of good simple start to an emotional chord progression and in context with the tempo Okay, so I'm going to keep this uh, this specific progression just for the like verse when there's less going on. But for the intro, we want to make this bigger. So what I'm going to do is just clone that, right-click, copy, paste this in, and just mute this one temporarily. And now we're going to add some notes in between, some higher notes, and also strum the chords to give them more of a realistic feel. So you can strum them just by Control-A, Alt-S, and that's going to allow you to have some control over it. So let's listen to that. So I quite like that. So now what I'm going to do here is go into Alt-R and we're just going to affect the velocities. Um, and then I'm going to shift M and Alt-R again, which is just going to randomly select different notes to create more variety within the velocity or more variety within the selected notes velocity to kind of get that really real uh, feel. Because, you know, like, as like if someone's playing it, the keys aren't going to be played all at the same velocity or the same pressure when it's being applied. So let's try that. Now we've got that, let's add some higher notes in. So we're, gonna just, we're not gonna strum these extra notes, we're just gonna add them in kind of where we think they should go. Turn the velocity up on this. So I'm gonna add like a note in between this. So I can hear some extra notes in this chord playing, so I'm gonna try and figure out where they're gonna go. Something like that, I think. So it's gonna go like, dun, dun, dun. and I can hear a similar sort of pattern here um, in the same sort of spot in the next chord. So we're just gonna move this over, delete that one. Thank you. 
perfect. So that's a nice kind of start for this piano melody. So now we've got that down, I wanna go ahead and add like a simple sort of guitar, like a jazz guitar, and just kind of go down the scale. So any of you guys aren't familiar, I am actually working in the grid in the scale highlighting at G sharp minor at A7 BPM, just so if any of you guys that are new, like you don't know what key I'm working in and it's a little bit easy for you to understand, yeah, we're in G sharp minor. So if you don't know anything about like what key, key I'm in, look up G sharp minor and sort of see what steps there are in that scale. So I wanna hear this, I'm gonna put the more complex one in and I just wanna have like a little solo that kind of just goes down the scale. You know what I mean, something similar to that. stagger like duh, 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 like a triplet rhythm here I think it's triplet but it might be sixth beat because we're in regular time I'm gonna turn the velocities down a little bit here and then uh, with this one, I just want to put on a little bit more reverb just to kind of make it a little bit less prominent in the mix. Turn the wet up a little bit and I'm going to make sure the low cut's off there. Okay, so from there as well, I want to add a similar sort of melody for the piano. So when we've got the more simple piano in, I want to add like a similar top line melody um, into the guitar. So you could just copy and paste it, but in this instance, I'm just going to kind of find something that's very similar uh, to the guitar, but just with a slight variation. So. So I'm going to also put these up an octave. That's real cold, that was that last little bit. Quite cold. Um, and then the final melody you want to go in with is so this is going to be when the piano and the guitar are off. It's like a lead. So I've gone into purity here. We've got a winter whistle. up an octave to just kind of create a bit more of an interesting sort of melody. Alright guys, so I've added in a little synth bass here just to follow the sort of chord, so this is what it sounds like. So yeah, that's what we've got. I'm just gonna also add in a little vocal, some vocal chops as well. So uh, when the bass is in there, I want the vocal chops in there to kind of like signify there's gonna be a drop in the beat. So 
See those final touches are just perfect for building up the suspense before we kind of get the drums in. So the drums are going to kind of come in here and yeah man just to signify that you can just put in like a little riser here. Maybe not that one, we'll use this one. I'll just pull it in right there. And uh, this is in uh, Pro by Jack's uh, drum collection, shout out to Pro by Jack. I think we'd have it drop like boom, boom, boom. So we'd have the drums kind of going here. Um, and yeah, so this is what I'm gonna do. Just get a basic pattern down and then arrange the drums around it as well. But yeah, so let's just put this in two steps, see how it sounds. So that's just literally one step and then Alt R, just to give a tiny bit of variety on the velocity. A. So I'm going to leave it like that for now just to kind of get some basic stuff done. So, so I've got this submarine snare. Now this is from the Mystery Drum Kit. And this is like a similar snare I heard in this Daily W that they were using Defo. So we're just going to go in there, fill these in on these steps here because this is in uh, real time, not track time. If any of you guys are confused, why well, I'm not filling in the silver, that's why. <laughs> And then here I've got something I want to accompany it with. So now I think I'm going to kind of basically go in here and do some extra stuff with the hi-hats next. So I want to go in here and just to keep things a little bit more brief, we're just going to use one of my kits that we've got loaded up on here. Um, I actually got a free hi-hat MIDI kit, like a light version, the Pluto hi-hat MIDI. Uh, so if you guys want to go check that out, you can. There's also a Pluto, Pluto hi-hat care package. Um, and we've got some hi-hat loops and then we also have midis too, so. Yo my guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you go ahead, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and share this with anyone that loves making music if you did enjoy it. But yeah, that's pretty much the video from me. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. 
Don't forget, if you want to go ahead, level up your sounds and support the channel further and the producer community we're building here, you can check out the sounds that are all linked in the description. And uh, don't forget to check out the free subscriber MIDI kit. Um, loads of you guys have been downloading it and showing me that you guys uh, think it's decent. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Your Peace out. Yo, Jalib sent that pack. Yo, Jalen, send that pack.